you think James Wiseman starts alongside Jalen Duran when the regular season starts? This is going to be a fun topic because so many people – it's – Pistons Twitter, I feel like, is divided on James Wiseman right now, you know? Like, he's had back-to-back -back doubles in summer league, showed the defense in game one, was running the floor. Him and Jalen Duran seem to have a pretty nice connection – on the floor together. I believe he even said after tonight's game that they're always in the gym, always working out together. Just They just love to hoop together. So, But what are your thoughts? Do you think there's a chance James Wiseman starts when the regular season starts? This is such a tough question. Um, I haven't really seen what Marvin Bagley has looked like. I know he's been putting in a lot of work. I mean, he, he was sitting courtside with Cade. He literally had like a, a summer on and a workout with his trainer, uh, Stanley Remy, who, if you guys don't know who that is, he's actually the same trainer as Andre Drummond and Dwayne Wade. Really mm -hmm. popular NBA trainer. I think Bagley, you could argue, could be the starting four. You could also argue Isaiah Stewart as well. I think Wiseman, to me, would be the first center off the bench. And I think Dard should be your starting center. Um, I think there's a debate whether who should start at that four spot. I know last week we were getting into it with some fans watching live on YouTube saying Bagley should be the four. Uh, we were both saying that Isaiah Stewart could be the four. But, I mean, yeah. it's just healthy competition at this point. I mean, whoever wins the spot wins the spot. I'm not really going to get into debates who I think should start at the four because I know half the people listening could really give a fuck what I have to say. <laughs> Same with you, man. They're good. They, they just feel some way. But – I don't, I don't see these two being a, a power forward center combo. Um, I see Wiseman being your first center off the bench personally. I mean, ideally, I see him being the first center off the bench. But let me just say, I think it's Isaiah Stewart's spot to lose. I think he's the four going into the season. I think there's a small chance that Bojan starts at the four and Asur starts at the three. I do, I do think that that could potentially be a starting lineup. But I think James Wiseman has the athletic ability, the mobility, and he's starting to show flashes of an outside shot where he potentially could be a starting four at seven foot one. Like, I would not hate that at all. I mean, again, the effort wasn't really there defensively, but – and it seemed like he was getting a little tunnel vision offensively where there's a couple shots that he forced in game two. But I think he looks a lot better in summer league than he did even at the end of the regular season. Like, I think he's already made some improvements. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say he doesn't start when the season starts. But I'm going to go – I'm going to say this. I think at some point during the season, you will see James Wiseman start along Jalen Duran in some meaningful Pistons games because Troy Weaver still wants to do the two-big lineup and he traded fan favorite Sadiq Bey. For, well, he didn't trade him directly for James Wiseman. But Sadiq Bey left and James Wiseman was brought in. And I think James Wiseman is the guy Troy Weaver wants to start in the front court with Jalen Durant. Because of the size, the athletic ability, the mobility. And now he's starting to show us flashes of an outside shot. If that outside shot stays consistent... James Wiseman will be the starter on this team at some point this regular season. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that it can't happen because anything's possible. I I look at James Wiseman, and I, I had mentioned it last week, I kind of see a little bit of Chris Bosh. Okay. Like, maybe it's just his shooting motion that reminds me of Chris Bosh a little bit, but if he can develop a perimeter game like Isaiah Stewart, then, then you could have that conversation, but... I think it's just so much of an unknown right now if he can, you know, knock down a three-point shot consistently. But you have to remember, I think he's only 22 or 23. I think there's still a lot of room to grow. But again, I, I think it's Stewart's job. Some people uh, in the comment section joked and said it's Christian Wood because he was sitting next to Monty Williams yeah, and Troy that. Weaver game one. And people were speculating because... Christian Wood is just getting vet minimums. He, that's the most he's gotten, I guess, in free agency. So that's something we can keep an eye on and maybe talk about later in the podcast. But I think it's Stewart's job to lose, and whoever wins it wins it at the end of the day. 
Yeah, I mean, I could see like I've talked about this before a couple on a couple episodes now, and I'll say it again. I would love to see Isaiah Stewart come off the bench at some point. You know, I think his game and the energy and the hustle he plays with is perfect for a bench spot. Like it seems like he would be more valuable to a team in that role. Cause I mean, he averaged eleven and eight with I think one block. Um, At some point last year, he was shooting like close to 41, I think, percent from the three-point line. I don't know if that will be consistent, but if he can shoot around 36 percent, he's going to be golden off the bench. But if James James Wiseman just keeps giving you the rebounding effort, because I think he had 11 rebounds game one and 10 rebounds game two, you could use that in the starting lineup with Jalen Duran, and then you have Soar at the three who had 17 rebounds in his two summer league games, like, Dude, how are you going to out-rebound this team if you have all three of those guys giving you effort on the boards every night? Like, as an opponent, you're coming in, you're like, dude, how, who do we box out? Who do we try to take off the boards? All these guys are going to get double-digit rebounds. It's crazy. I think there's, like I already said before, I think there's a shot that James Wiseman is eventually the starter on this team. I, I want to say that. I, I definitely think there's a chance that he becomes the starter at that four spot. It just depends if the effort still stays there and if the three-point shot becomes a real thing. Yeah, I, I, I just – I can't see him starting. Not right now. I'm going to have to see more games of him giving more effort on the d- defensive end. Okay. Because even though he, he is blocking a little bit, of, a couple of shots here and there in the summer league, uh, I want to see what he does against NBA competition because most of these guys that are on summer league rosters are, one, they're either going to be playing in Europe in a few weeks – or they're going to be competing for G League roster spots. Um, I think James Wiseman being down there will be great for his development, and he's getting those reps that he needs. But, again, I still think it's going to be Isaiah Stewart's job. I think Isaiah Stewart defensively moves his feet better than James Wiseman currently right now. Obviously, he doesn't have the size of a James Wiseman or his ability to block shots, but I, I, I still think it's Stewart's job to lose. And like I said, you're, you're going to have a battle between Bagley, Wiseman, and Stewart at that four spot, personally. I mean, even if James Wiseman continued to block the shots and you wanted to use him as, like, I don't know, just say, like, a center in the drop spot, Jalen Duran has shown enough where he can pretty much switch. I don't know if he can switch on everybody, but he's shown a little bit in Summer League that he can switch on guards. And I mean, he switched on Anthony Black in Summer League Game 1 and made things difficult for him, you know? So... There's some defensive potential, again, like you were saying, if James Wiseman still shows effort on that side of the ball, even if he is just a drop center and protects the rim. But, man, it's it's kind of exciting to talk about the, the, these things. And I think Monty Williams, I think at some point this year, you're going to see a lot of creativity in these lineups from him, man. It's going to be a fun season.